at the main again, um, your coconut herbs friend. Um, it's already July. I can't believe it. I mean, we have such a short growing period out here that it's kind of gets around this time, at, you know, midsummer. I get kind of nervous because I feel like, oh my God, it's like everything is coming up and, and, and soon it's going to be over. And, you know, it's kind of like a anxiety provoking time for me in a weird way, but also a really good time of year, obviously, because like, I, I just went out to my herb garden and I picked all this stuff like a minute ago. I've got parsley, I've got, um, uh, that's lovage, chives, this is um, marjoram, this is a uh, summer savory, this is some kind of weird uh, oregano that I'm not even sure what this is. This is lemon thyme, this is mint, this is a uh, lemon verbena, and this is also a uh, garlic I just pulled from my garden, which looks really great. It smells amazing. But what I wanted to do today is, is show you how to make a couple of really quick, easy, herb-centered sauces to use on, um, you know, for summer cooking, to really improve your cooking. You know, I, I, you know, the thing about summer cooking is that, let me just start this one for you. This is my parsley. Oh my God, when you take it out right from the garden, it smells so amazing. But anyway, what I was saying is, you know, when you're just throwing stuff on the grill, you know, you've got a, a steak or vegetables or whatever, chicken, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's plain and, you know, but it takes a lot of concentration to get the grill going and make sure you don't burn everything and, you know, it's cooked through and it's not black and it's not wrong inside. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. And it's really nice to have a couple of sauces waiting, you know, in the kitchen that are already done up so you can just, you know, throw it on your, 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 whatever you're grilling, you know, so it looks a little, you know, it, so it's little, so the meat slab or whatever it looks a little less primitive. I mean, let's face it, right? So anyway, so today I want to show you how to make a couple of things that are really easy. The first one is like a chimichurri sauce, which is from Argentina, and it's based on herbs and olive oil, like a lot of these things are. And this one is usually what you have is is um, parsley to start and oregano. And um, that's that's the crux of the sauce right there. Um, but the thing that gives this sauce a lot of like s strength, and it is a strong sauce, is our red wine vinegar. Right here, this is actually my own homemade red wine vinegar, oh boy. And, um, and hot chilies. So um, I have a, a green jalapeno. My The ones I'm in my garden aren't quite ready yet. Red. A red uh, a chili would be great, like a sort of a medium hot. And what I'm going to do today is just, I'm going to show you how to do it by chopping everything by hand. So you got your your um, parsley. And then what I want to do is just use a little bit of this. You know, you can use the seeds if you want. I'm thinking like, maybe like that, right? And then just chop that up. And you got parsley, and I want to put garlic. Garlic is a, is a very good, important part. This is my garlic that I just pulled out of the garden. It's it's a, uh, I think it's Basque red, and it it really smells amazing. So it's a little dirty, but who cares? Okay, so look at that. Look how juicy it is. It's a, it's unbelievable. I mean, you should smell this. I mean, this is so much better than like supermarket garlic. This is like a, a, a hard neck garlic, which is just juicy and incredible. So what I wanna do is, look at this, we got that and that, and we got the parsley. And what I like to do instead of oregano sometimes, I like to use things that sort of mimic oregano or, or, or sort of oregano-like, but are a little different. And I think maybe for this one, I'm going to use a little bit of marjoram, which is, you know, oregano's like softer cousin, a little more floral, right? So I'm just going to throw a little of this. I, I, orig I love a marjoram. It's one of my favorite. It, it's, it, it's like a, it's just an amazing, beautiful perfume. Look at that. I'm going to throw some of that in. You know, not too much. You know, just instead of the oregano, you know, Oregano to me can sometimes get kind of strong and harsh. 
So we got that going, we got the parsley, we got that. And then I'm thinking maybe a little bit of summer savory, which is really beautiful and quite strong, but a little bit a different flavor profile than um, oregano. A, a little less harsh, in my opinion. So let's just throw a little of that in. So that'll do it. So now what you wanna do here is just start chopping. You know, get yourself a really good chopping motion going, right? Start with the bigger things. All right. Garlic and jalapeno or whatever chili you use. And then start moving the other stuff in. Start moving the softer herb things in afterwards. You know what? I'm just thinking. I was th maybe we should add. You know, sometimes with the chimichurro sauce, they add us uh, scallions, and I happen to have my uh, some of these <laughs> these uh, chives. So you know what? Let's just let's let's add a little of this to the mix. Just for a little. Um, a little extra oomph and just you know just go just chop you know it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be chopped and if you get a good rocking motion look at this is like almost done oh that sm smells incredible and this is you know in argentina this sauce is used mainly for you know grilled steaks and stuff but I find with the with the really intense herb smell, it's 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 great for you know fish or if you have like a grilled um, eggplant or any any kind of vegetable that you put on the grill like a zucchini. See, look at that. That's already done. Okay. So now what we want to do is just scoop everything up, stick it in the bowl, and now. Oh my God, it smells so good. So what you want to do now is you want to add your, this is what makes it a chimichurri. It's the red wine vinegar, olive oil. Oh, that's not like everything, but olive oil. Olive oil. See, that's about enough. You want, you, you really, what you're looking for here is a suspension of herbs in olive oil. And of course, let's put a little salt. It's probably not right. Give it a little stir. See, this looks pretty good to me. Let me, let me just, you know, you don't, it's hard to taste it when you first make it. What you really need to do is, I mean, I will taste it, but, oh my God, it's really good. Actually, I think it needs a touch more of this. Yeah, I mean, that on a grilled, um, skirt steak or on um, grilled roasted peppers. Oh my God, that would be excellent. So really what you wanna do is now that we've made this is just to sort of let it sit, okay? And I, and then in about, you know, a half hour, it'll the herbs will give up all their, their aromas to the olive oil, which is a great conduit for flavor, you know? And, um, and then it's gonna be really good. And then it'll set up a little and it'll thicken. All right, we did that. So now what I wanna show you is how to make a really nice uh, salsa verde, which is, you know, it's like a, it's a real Italian standard thing. I make it all the time. And it's basically, you know, the whole thing is, is based on olive oil, garlic, um, anchovies, usually capers and parsley, right? I mean, they, all these sauces seem to be kind of based on parsley. And parsley, I mean, don't underestimate, and underestimate parsley. Parsley is like, especially when it comes right out of the garden like this. So let's try this one. This is gonna, this is a, a much gentler sauce than the um, chimichurri. And, um, oh, one thing I might have to say, I, I should probably say is that don't get this salsa verde confused with like a Mexican salsa verde, which is, um, based on uh, tomatillos and hot chilies, and it's a really different flavor profile. So for this one, what I wanna do, I, I wanna show you how to do this in the, 
in the Cuisinart because that's another way to do these things really fast. So with this, I've got some Sicilian capers that I soaked. There's, you know, salt pack capers and I soaked them and rinsed them. And those are all ready to go. And then I have here a couple of anchovies. These are not bad, these Agostino Recco things. Yeah, I really like them actually. I just pull a couple of these out. Oh yeah. I'm gonna say one, two, uh, maybe another one. I like a lot of anchovy. Anybody who follows my um my work and my blog would will know that. So let's come over here, and what what you really want to do now is just you really just want to dump everything in the cuisine. I mean, this is just you know when your when your chicken is on the grill or what whatever, just put everything in here. Okay, so I'm gonna do, now parsley is the usual herb for this, but I had this idea that I wanted to add a little bit of um, lemon thyme, only because lemon juice is usually added to this. And I figure, you know, I have it, why not? And it smells amazing. It smells a little bit like, you know, lemon pledge, but what not but it's good. I mean, if you're making a, a grilled fish or something, there's nothing really better than this. So that's probably about enough. And I'm gonna add a little bit, only because, look at this. You can't smell this, but this lemon thyme, I mean, this lemon um, verbena is unbelievable. And right now, it's it's the beginning of the season, so it's not too too tough. So I can, I'm just gonna, see, just go down this way and rip rip them right, rip the leaves right off. With any herb, you know, you just go down against the leaves and put them right in. Um, okay, and of course, a little garlic. Okay, do another one of my fresh, fresh garlics here. And you know, a little bit of a dirt doesn't really uh, matter too much. Just put this in. These are, these are pretty strong, you know? I mean, they're fresh, which is good. They don't, you know, but they're, they're kind of strong. So I'm gonna use, like I have, just dump it in whole. And, um, you know, instead of the hot pepper, what I wanna use here, because this is kind of a mellow sauce, a little black pepper, right? A little black pepper should do it. Okay, a little salt. A little lemon juice instead of the really kind of really strong uh, red wine vinegar, because this is more of a mellow little Italian sauce, right? You're going for sort of mellow flavors here. Mellow, but, but punchy, you know, because everything's really fresh. Okay, and then olive oil should do it. And then look at this. I mean, it's like so incredible. It's just, this is it. Put it on close. Let it go. That's it. Look at that. Beautiful. You got your sauce. It's fabulous. Let's taste it. Oh my God. It's really, actually, it's really good. I mean, maybe it's just a touch. Let's just see. Maybe a touch more lemon juice. You can also add lemon zest to this if you like, which I often do. But I, I felt like with the lemon thyme and the lemon verbena, I, don't, I didn't really need that. All right, fabulous. Look at that. Scrape it down a little. Ugh. Delicious. This one, you feel? I feel like I, you don't even have to wait and let this um, meld. It just Mm, it's already so good. All right, so these are two really good, really easy sauces to make in the summer when you've got a lot of herbs. I mean, if you don't have the, you know, lemon verbena or whatever, I mean, don't worry about it. You know, just add a little a lemon zest instead. Oh, you know what? I have a little, let me get a paper towel here. I have a little bonus um, sauce I want to do for you which I just discovered myself. So let me just clean up a little here. I mean, this looks like garbage, but it's actually not. It's just a lot of 
herbs. So I'm going to use that for something. I'm going to stick that right here. Um, so what I want to show you, this is a, a, like a mix of herbs that I just really discovered that's like an amazing thing. Um, if you take fresh mint, this is spearmint, which it's pretty easy to find in a supermarket or whatever, right? And, um, and lemon verbena. I mean, if you don't have a lemon verbena, you can use lemon zest, I guess. But look at this. Here again, you just take it and with, with a lot of herbs, you just work down. They come right off and then it's stemmed. It, okay. So what I want to do here is just take the fresh mint and lemon verbena and just chop the hell out of it. I mean, you don't want to torture the herbs, but you do, you do want it pretty pretty finely chopped. Oh my God, see, I'm already there. I mean, I'm already there. Like, what? how long did that take? Like, two freaking seconds. And so this is a gorgeous combination. And what you want to do now is just add a little bit of olive oil. And I believe, I think a little salt. And give that a stir. And I found that this combination of fresh mint and lemon verbena, if you put it on like grilled fruit uh, on the barbecue, like a like grilled peaches, for instance. I mean, if you take, for, what if you grill some peaches and cl and plop a little bit of ricotta inside, you know, it, where, where the pit was, and then just spoon a little of this on top. I mean, that would be an amazing dessert, but it would also be like an incredibly good first course. You could put it on arugula or something, or it's just, this is just a really nice flavor combination. I love it. I just love it. All right, well, I think we're good now. I mean, so you've seen three good sauces. It's July, it's, you know, you have to savor the summer. It's, it's short, but it's beautiful.